Stampers! I'm Jill and I'm part of the Stampin' Jill creative team here to show you a new layout idea. And actually I got this layout idea from one of our trade cards that we received and this is just basic layout here with a strip and two circles and a saying. And so I want to kind of show you a bunch of different ways to actually use this layout idea. So I'm using the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. And if you notice on one side, it's kind of um, more like a watercolor or oil painting. And then the other side is just solid colors. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to use this layout idea in a couple different ways. So I went ahead and already kind of cut these out so you can see. Okay, so let me go into what is actually used in this. This is a two by five and a quarter and two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And this is a three inch circle and a two and a quarter inch circle. So that's basically it. And then just a quarter of inch smaller around the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one together and it's going, you can decide whatever side of paper you wanna use. I'm just gonna use the more muted side on this particular card and have the quarter of inch go all the way around. So then I'm going to take the strip, and some of the strips I've used just plain, and some of them I've added the cardstock around to frame it. So it just depends on what you like. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in the center, and that just kind of splits the card. Now we're going to have a focal point. We need to decide to have a focal point on this side, the left side of the card, or the right side of the card. It doesn't really matter. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And this is our paper stacks of designer series paper. And they come in all the colors. And now I'm going to go ahead and either put a saying right where I stamp it right on that. Or I can use another one and double that like this particular one was. So it just depends on the stamp set. This Floral Essence stamp set has a couple different ones. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the All Days. Stamp this in Flirty Flamingo. I've already cut out the circles, and one's a punch and one's not. So this is All the Days Are Beautiful with you. So there you go. And you've got just a very simple, and you can pop that up with your dimensionals. And this is just very simple layout ideas right here. I'm not really embellishing them a lot. You can put other embellishments and ribbon on it too, but this is more for layouts. So there, you've got a simple layout where you've got a focal point and dividing your DSP. Okay, this one I have went ahead and did the whole DSP opposite going up and down and the Blackberry Bliss as the background. Okay, and then we've got the back of this, which is great contrast. And then after that, and I just did a strip on that one. And then this is beautiful. Love this Blackberry Bliss color. And we can pop that up. Now if you want to take your stamps and go ahead around the edges in a different color, let's go ahead and show you how that would work. So I could take this and with the old olive, just step it up a little bit by filling the circle in with another color. Okay, so that adds a little bit of different color. And now I'm going to put that on with some dimensionals. And there we've got a layout idea of the same thing, just in a different direction. Super simple. Okay, so we've got this one that opens this way and this one that opens this way. Okay, one more. This one is the same paper, and I'm going to use, not the floral, but I'm going to use it the opposite way. Let's turn, the, turn it around here. And this is balmy blue, and the old olive. And we'll just go ahead and put the floral on. Let's see, I think I want it that way. So it's super simple. Now you can decide, like let's say I'm going to move it down here 
and do the circle. So you can actually move that strip just a little bit to change it up a little bit. I love, that's what you can do with layouts, is use the same papers. Just by moving it changes the look of the card. Okay, so we've got this, and then we've got a seam. So let me put this one down. Well, I've got to decide where I want, if I want the smaller flowers or if I want the bigger flower to show. So I'm going to move this over here. Okay, and then I can either do this in blue or I can do this in white. So you can decide kind of what you want to do. So let's look at this. And I love how you have these clear because then you can stamp something long if you want to. Another thing is, see these flowers. Okay, if I wanted to stamp this on one of the circles, I could stamp that and put it right there with the center, and you've got a whole different look of a card, and then you could put a saying on the inside. So it's just giving you the ideas of the shapes. So you could use that right here. So let me go ahead and do that, so you can see the difference in the two. All right, here's the flower. And we can do that in this Blushing Bride. Sometimes I like to stamp off Blushing Bride because it's pretty dark. Let me get this over here. Stamp it off. Let's look at the two. Okay, so then you've got the center. So I'm going to pop that up. And so this is not even a saying, but we're just using a focal point of a flower. So it creates that, that focal point for you. And now I'm going to go ahead and use these centers which come with this um, suite. And they really go with the paper. If you notice, they're in the middle of the flowers in the paper. So that's just showing you a simple way of doing the flower. Let me bring all these back in so you can look at all the layouts. Super simple layouts. We'll bring the original card in, and then this is just showing you some simple layouts that you can do with that whole layout idea. You can add ribbon to it or little accessory, but just showing you how easy with DSP you can make a new layout of card ideas. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Go to stampinjill.com if you'd like to order these products, and we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.